And folks, we are back. Take the antiderivative, uh, or you know, evaluate that integral. So let's do some u substitution. Let's let u be cosine two x. So du is that. All right. So sine two x dx, which you need to substitute something in for, is negative one half du. Um, all right. So there we go. Uh, u is x squared plus one. So du is two x dx. All right. Um, there we go. So that was in the square root. So the square root of u, you got one half on the outside. Take the antiderivative, a half or two thirds. There we go. Plug what u is. U is um, x squared plus one. Plug that in for you. And don't forget about the. It has no bounds. Don't forget about the c. Got to have the c there. All right. On this one, don't use u substitution. In fact, just divide everything by x to the one half. Okay, so there we go. It has a relatively easy antiderivative to find. Again, one power up, divide by that new power. And folks, we're moving right along. Um, let u be sine x. And then, as Grace pointed out to us last week, very good. This is gonna, just going to be, well, first off, du is cosine x dx. So this would be u squared. Um, one power up, divided by that new power. And then plug sine x in for you. Pretty easy one. Let u be 2x minus 1. Again, if it's inside the root, you should let u be that. So then du is just 2 dx. So 1 half u is dx. So you got to substitute something in for x still. And if u is this, to figure out what x is, you got to move the 1 over and divide. So actually, x is 1 half u plus 1 half. So we're going to substitute that in for x. This was u, so it's the square root of u, or u the one half. Let's distribute, and then take the antiderivative, and then plug 2x minus one in for u. There we go. And folks, 129, uh, you have a snowball, which is a sphere. You know the surface area is decreasing by one. That's the surface area formula. Take the derivative, plug negative one in for, uh, you know, the derivative, the rate of change for the surface area. Plug five in. If the diameter is 10, then the radius is five. So if dr dt would be that, so they want to know, find the rate of change of the diameter. So just, you know, double the radius, which would be that. That's a good question. Here we want to optimize. We want to optimize, um, I believe, or have the, the smallest, right? Smallest possible area. So the volume is 32,000 equals x squared y. That's what y is. That's what the area is. So the surface area, if it has an open top, it would have a square base and then four sides that are x by y. So substitute 32,000 over x squared in for y. Find the derivative, set it equals zero. You get 40 for x, and I believe 20 for y. We did this one in class. Again, practice with this one again. Leave, are we getting close? Uh, this should be a day two question. This is a day two question on Tuesday. Um, let u be uh, natural log x. Um, du is 1 over x dx. That's what we get there. All right. Let u be cosine x. So du is negative sine x dx. So negative du is sine x. Um, we get e to the u. That's just going to be negative e to the u plus c. And then plug in cosine x for u. All right. Again, divide, folks. Divide everything by x to the third. So then you can just take the antiderivative. One power more divided by that new power. And that's what we get. All right, and folks, I believe this is the last one related rates question here involving the ladder slipping away um, at a rate of, it's sliding down at a rate of what, five feet a minute? Um, using Pythagorean theorem, take the derivative of that, plug 16 in for x, that's what x is. Again, use Pythagorean theorem to find the exact um, distance for your three variables there. Then dx dt is going to be positive. Again, if it's sliding down, it's going to be sliding to the right in the positive direction. 15 over 4 feet per minute. All right, folks, that is your last calculus video of the year. Again, the final next week in three parts. Be ready to go. This is Yak Math Videos signing out.